Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and you can also find me on Instagram and on TikTok as Knit Plan Jess. Thank you guys for so much for joining me today. For my new viewers, welcome. Happy welcome to you and my returning viewers, welcome back. Seriously, I love you guys and I really appreciate your support for watching my channel. It really does mean the world to me. Um, so we are doing a daily planner daily plan a daily plan with me um, we're going to be doing two pages using the coloring journaling and journaling doodles because I want to do some watercolor in my planner and the happy planner paper is not made to withhold or withstand watercolor so the stickers are though as long as you use like minimal water so if you're curious for how I'm going to set it up and if you want to also make sure you stay tuned, um, like Monday and Tuesday, I will post a couple of shorts showing you how I'm doing the watercolor in it. Stay tuned. All right, so two days, coloring, journaling, I do have an extra journaling just in case there is like some boxes that I need from this one because my boxes are very minimal. Um, and so my plan is to go ahead and set it up. And then next week um, when I do like my pre-planning and then when I actually plan for the day, that's when I will um, do the watercolor with it. I would like to record a video next week, um, like one of my, my plan as I go. My goal is to do a lot more of those videos throughout the year. Um, so that's kind of a plan for, for next week. Plus, I also really want to show how I use my, um, my bullet journals during the week as well. So before I jump into the stickers... Um, the main reason why I want to use my watercolor, my planner, is a couple of reasons, actually. Um, let me kind of share with you my spread for next week. Um, it's I was able to use, like, this really pretty pearlescent. It's this purple right here. It kind of comes across, though. It doesn't come across as purple. Like, it's I think it's really cool. It's like a, a pink, like a reddish. It's really really pretty but yeah so I did watercolor in my Archer and Olive notebook and I want to use it in my planner too I'm like all, all about the watercolors right now 2023 is the year of really being creative it's kind of getting out of the box it's it's expanding um, expanding the mediums that I use and I don't have very much confidence with um, with watercolors so this is really a way for me to get a lot more confidence as well so yeah that's kind of why I'm doing this all right so let's go ahead and white out I don't know why well I'm gonna white it out because the sticker may not completely cover it um, yeah, I was kind of like, wait, why, why am I why why am I whiting this out when it is a white paperback sticker? So the coloring sticker book, they were basically intended for you to be able to color the stickers in. I'm sure they were probably thinking markers, colored pencils, crayons, that sort of thing. I am so going, I'm going beyond that. I also have to remember. National Sticker Day is the 13th. So we might do something. Oh, look at this little taco. This little taco. Oh my gosh, this little taco. I love that little taco. Okay, sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. I put it off to the side because I want to make sure to use it. So, um, yeah, I want to. Oh, empty sticker sheet. Um, I want to make sure. Like, I might even do these for like the 10th because there's a lot of really fun stickers in here um, that I think would work really well for National Sticker Day. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do for that day. I wanted to make sure though that it wasn't like Monday or Tuesday. 
um, because if it was, then I just want to make sure that I'm using the appropriate stickers. I'm also sad I don't have any more cats on this page. Lame. I've already used them all. I do have another of these sticker books, but I'm not going to use it until like the majority of these stickers are gone. Okay, so we're going to use the quote that says you're crushing it. And I want to use, I want to do something really, really motivational on Tuesday because Tuesday is usually like the hardest day that I have to deal with during the week. So I'm also going to white out like the little lines that are kind of peeking through just because I want it to be completely neutral. I'm thinking 2024, maybe the year that I do like a Bujo daily. Um, it will be a lot of work to put together so many spreads, but I think it could be also a lot of fun. All right, so I want florals, but I don't want those florals. I like these, and I think that these could be really, really fun to use in my spreads, or nope, we're gonna use these ones. Okay, let's see what boxes that we have because I really want to use some boxes in it. One of my thoughts is to use like some of these boxes and kind of cut out this portion because I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna use these. So if I can be able to utilize them in a way Oh, I just almost cut my finger. These are sh some sharp stickers. Some sharp, st some sharp stickers. Oh my gosh, I always do that. These are some sharp scissors. These are the little stationary scissors that came from the Archer and Olive uh, December sub box. And they, yeah, they are sharp. So we're going to try this one. I am going to say... Let's do this on Monday. We're gonna do the floral stickers on Monday. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's white out reminders. And, cause if I'm kind of looking at this, I think I could do like this little one. Nope, I can't do this. This one's a little too small. I hear, I hear one of the cats on the uh, door. I'm pretty sure that they are chasing after a, a bug or something. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to. Oh, it's Duke, because Vinny's in my room with me. Okay, those ones are too, they're too big, or they're, they're too small. Let's try this one. Okay, this, I think this right here could, can work. Oh no. No, Vinny's in my room. He is currently sniffing the watercolor brushes because he wants to play with one. You wanna play with this? Here, you want this? He's just so stinking cute. Why are my cats so adorable? And then we're gonna put this other little one. It's gonna go behind it because I want lots of florals in this spread. Ooh, I really like how that works. All right, let's see what else we have that we can use. Um, okay, here we go. We're not going to do like the same boxes. We're going to we're going to try to do different ones. I think we can use this. And I'm just I'm basically cutting like as close to that little design as possible. It, you guys, it's what I always say. If your stickers don't work, make them work for you. Let's do this one, maybe right here. And trying to trying to think. Actually, I think that this one, ooh, that one may not work out as well. I think we're gonna save this one for Tuesday, actually. I was kind of thinking that it could be really cute. Like this is gonna be my, my little dinner box and we're gonna have a little taco right there. Oh my God, it's adorable. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm getting, getting excited. I'm getting really excited about the cuteness of these stickers. 
Um, let's do, see what else we got. Oh, this one right here. Oh, okay, that page just came out. I could, I'm kind of thinking like maybe I could, do, oh, this one will work perfect. You guys, my cat is so freaking adorable. Like, I can't, I can't get over how cute that they are. He's just, okay, he's, he's deciding, he's taking it upon himself to get some more of the, of the watercolor brushes to play with. He's like, okay, I've grown bored of just that one. I want more. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so we're going to use that. Um, let's see what else we got. I would like to find like another small one to use. Preferably one that has like the design on the side. Ooh, this one can be used for this day. I want to try to use that for that day, but I'm going to have to find something else to put in there. This one. But this one, it... I'm going to use that one just as it is because that's that's perfect. But now I, I feel like I still need something right there. And that's what I'm kind of stuck on. <laughs> Vinny, oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, let's see. What about... What about this one like right there and then maybe that one I could be able to do maybe this floral like I was just kind of thinking I could do something like that okay let's do that um, but I am going to cut this out just because I don't want it to come through the other sticker although thinking about it it probably would help to leave it in because then it'd be like a double layer sticker before it gets to the paper and that might be better for the watercolor but I've already cut it out so now it doesn't really matter this is exactly how my brain works I'm so sorry guys welcome to my brain I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm kind of loopy some days okay i really really like that like i'm i'm super happy about that so let's go ahead this is my daily for tomorrow um okay perfect i like it it's that makes me happy that makes me super super happy um and then what i would like to do i kind of want to put like one of these Oh, sh snap. I want to put one of these next to here, too. Um, because it's, oh, oh, crap. It is another one to watercolor. That's why. Okay. See, there we go. Oh, sh there we go. That works. All right. I can, I can, I can dig that. I like that. Um, Hold on, hold on, let's do this. I also want this, oh crap, you guys, crap. That's okay, it's okay, we're, we're cool, we're cool, it's cool, there we go. All right, next, I just wanna do something super simple. This one I know does not have any functional in it because I have used up all of the functional. This one has so many pretty stickers, but there's just like so many that I'm not going to use. And, oh, look, coffee because adulting is hard. Yes. Yes, I, I need that sticker for something. Um, I kind of want to, I kind of love the idea of putting like a little coffee over here. But I also want to say that for the other for the other page because I think that that would work a lot better. Okay, I'm just going to look through here, see if there's anything that I can, that I would want to use. Um, you know, just something like, it was just this one had more functional boxes. I need, okay, we needed like a little, little header box. So let's, not that journaling, this journaling, my main journaling book. 
this is the one because I think this one will be perfect just to kind of use like these right here. And we're going to put that right there. White out the today. And, oh, I think let's just use a, let's just use a checklist. Oops. Let's just use a black checklist. And this is a day that I am going to give myself dual checklists. Just because I don't think I really need, like I don't really need any additional boxes, but I kind of really just want like double checklist. It is going to be a double checklist day. That's why. Okay. Perfect. I think that that turned out really cute and I cannot wait to watercolor this next week. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Okay. Let's move on. So now we have a January 10th. I'm going to do the same thing with this little two day stick for blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do the same thing with the header where I will write in the today, but I'm going to like watercolor it and then write it in because it's going to be fantastic. So we have this sticker right here that I'm literally just going to leave like that. But I want to do like some, I want to do something really cute. So I love using the stick girls in my coloring and my journaling spreads. So we're going to grab the stick girls, but I want to take that out because we are not doing spring cleaning over here. I mean, it's, it's not spring yet. Maybe once spring comes around, then I'll decide. Okay. Yeah. I will have to do spring cleaning. Okay. Let's go to coloring. So I'm throwing that book off onto my bed so I can stop grabbing it. Let's do, ooh, what if, what if I do like a little planner? Oh, I'm gonna, I wanna do, first of all, I wanna do some discs around this side because I just think that that would be super cute. I might do something kind of similar for the uh, 13th. But yeah, we're just going to do these. What And then what I would like kind of love to do is do like this. So in that way it overlaps it. I really like that. Okay, I'm happy. And let's do like one more. And then let's do one more right here. I like to have the, the hearts kind of facing different directions. Um, we're going to have a planner right in here. So cute. So cute. And um, this is where instead of the numbers, <laughs> I'm putting coffee because, oh, like, what if I erase where it says priorities? And then doo -doo -doo, I could do that and then that. Nope, we're going to do this. We're going to put that right there and then put that little coffee right there. Because I think that that is cute. Okay, that makes me happy. It is supposed to rain next week, but I don't know. Like, I know that, that there's chances of rain, but I think it's supposed to rain into like Tuesday. And then I really don't know about after that. Um, I really like this one with a little flower. So I would like to use that one. The other ones really don't fit because it's like it's after the holidays. It's not the, it's not fall or halloween um i ain't got the money to go shopping and then we got some summer and it's it's really not summer so i don't think that any of those are going to work i kind of want to do a checklist right here i think i want to do a checklist so let's do this one also right here and then we're going to put like her right next to it 
She's massive. <laughs> it's okay though. It is okay. And then, oh my goodness, these icons are stinking adorable. <laughs> that hurt. Okay, we want, ooh, let's do this. So one thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get more consistent about posting on Instagram. Um, if you guys have been following me for the past year, you know that I have been struggling. So what I would like to do is I would like, I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put in another box because I would like to actually write out what times that I am going to be posting my Instagram. Actually, this one right here, I think would be a good, I think this right here would actually be really good for that. Okay. So, um, two, this is Tuesday, which means I think I'm going to try to post two posts and then a reel. So I'm going to have the clocks like facing different times too. Um, so we're going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to actually move this one because this one's going to go down here. Sorry. I want them <laughs> I'm like, I want them facing a certain time each for each one. So this is going to be like early morning, noon, and then mid afternoon. See, it works. And then let's take some of these little icons or I could do the gold because I hardly ever use the gold. Um, and it's not like I'm going to, I'm not going to be like coloring in the icons or anything like that. So, okay. Yeah. Let's take the gold icons because I've got gold right there. I've got gold right there. So I might as well use these. I think what I would also like to do, uh, how cute would it be to use um, the, the journaling stickers in my bullet journal for a week? I, I need to try that. I will have to go to my other journaling sticker book that has boxes unless I just, unless I, no, actually I can be able to do the boxes myself. That's no problem. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do the next, maybe the week of like the 16th through the 22nd, I will plan on doing the journaling stickers for both my social media bujo and for my main bullet journal. I'm excited about that now. I love like when I'm, as I'm decorating spreads, I will get ideas for things that I want to do for, for future spreads. Like, okay, actually, hold on. <laughs> I might have to change that up. I had wanted to do a, a watercolor spread um, in my, my main bullet journal next week. So I don't know, maybe like the week of like the 23rd through the 29th, I believe it is. Maybe we'll do journaling in that week. Because, yeah, because I had an idea for the 16th or the 22nd for my main bullet journal to do, like, the whole spread in um, in watercolor. Like, the boxes and stuff. I mean, it would be relatively simple. This is cute, you guys. And I can't wait to color it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I also want... I feel like that's not enough to watercolor in, especially compared to the other spread. So let's see what else that we can take. Um, I don't, I can't really put like, I'm not going to put like a cat in here. I'm not getting paid or anything this day. Um, I don't know. Oh my goodness. We could just put in a random rainbow. I mean, why not, right? It's my spread. I can do whatever I want with it. There we go. We're just going to put in a random rainbow. And, oh, actually, I have an idea. It's this journaling sticker book has florals in it. Now, the question is, where are they? I don't know. Uh, I need to use those one day. Those would be really fun to watercolor in. 
I decided that I wasn't going to be doing like a monthly mood tracker, but if I was that 100%, I would use those as a monthly mood tracker. I do have my year in pixels because um, I'm basically tracking my mood on a yearly basis and kind of comparing it to like my period because more often than not, my mood is going to be dependent on whether it is that time of the month. Um, and it's, I was lucky enough that it happened to start first thing this year. So yay, there's that. Um, but yeah, it was, it's been really interesting because it's like, oh, my mood is not the greatest. Oh, because my, my period. I was having my, my period at that time. Okay, so then we're going to do one of these. I'm just going to put in some little flowers just around here because why not? And do some right there. And then we're going to do some on either side because I feel like the flowers kind of work because she's holding a flower. There we go. Now I'm going to say that we are officially done. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to take watercolors to this. It is going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and get this back into the planner. I don't know what happened with this page, but it's like messed up a little bit. I don't know. Yay. It is cute. I love it. This was like a really, really fun spread for me. Th these were really fun to put together. So we used the journaling doodles. We used coloring and we used regular journaling. And I think that these turned out so freaking cute. Part of me wants to do this for like the whole week, but I'm not going to. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And like I said, um, watch out because I will be sharing a short where I'm just kind of watercoloring these in. And you know, if you guys want to check that out, I would really love and appreciate it. Thank you guys. Have a good day and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.